In this video, we're just going to find derivatives. So before we do this first problem here, let me write down the product rule on the side. So the product rule says that if you have a product of two functions and you take the derivative, the way I do it is I think of this as the first piece and this is the second piece. So this will be the first, this will be the second. So it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. All right, now let's do this problem. So here, this will be the first, and this will be the second. So f prime of x. So the derivative of the first is 2x. Right, you just bring the 2 down. Times the second, which is the natural log of x, plus the first, which is just x squared, times the derivative of the second piece. So the derivative of the natural log of x is just 1 over x. So let's check it. So the derivative of the first is 2x times the second, yep, plus the first, times the derivative of the natural log of x, which is 1 over x. So f prime of x is 2x natural log of x. Here you have two copies of x. Here you have one copy, so you lose an x, so plus x. So that is the answer. Okay, let's do another example. So example, how about h of x equals e to the 2x over the sine of 4x. So here we have a quotient, so we'll use the quotient rule. So let me go to the side here and write the quotient rule. If you have a quotient, f over g, the way I think of it is it's the derivative of the first, or top piece, times the second, or the bottom piece, minus the first, times the derivative of the second, all over the second one squared. And you see, the reason I use my formulas, I use these formulas rather, is because they match. f prime g, f g prime, f prime g, f g prime. Most books don't, don't do it this way. All right, let's do it. So h prime of x, so it's the derivative of the first piece. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So here we have e to the 2x, so it's e to the 2x times the derivative of the inside. The inside function is 2x, and the derivative of 2x is 2. So this is the derivative of the first times the second minus the first, so e to the 2x times the derivative of the second. So the derivative of sine is cosine. So here you get cosine for x times, what, what is it? It's the chain rule, right? The derivative of 4x is 4. That's the chain rule. All of this is being divided by sine of 4x, and this is being squared. I guess we should try to clean this up. I'll squeeze it in over here. So the only thing we can really do is maybe put the numbers in the front. So this 2, I'm going to write it out front. So 2 e to the 2x sine 4x and then minus 4 e to the 2x cosine 4x. And all of this is being divided by sine 4x and the whole thing is being squared. And that looks... Okay, let's do another example. How about something like this? So let's try um, g of x will be the natural log of x squared plus e to the 3x plus tangent 4x plus 1999. All right, looks pretty pretty scary. Should be fun. Let's do it. All right, so we have to use um, the chain rule. So before we do that, let me just recall that the derivative of ln x is one over x. Even though we used it in the first video, in the first example, let me write it down over here. So very useful. So here, we don't just have ln x. We have ln of all of this stuff. All right. So when we take the derivative. It's just 1 over all of that stuff. So x squared 
plus e to the 3x plus the tangent of 4x plus 1999. And now we have to use the chain rule and multiply by the derivative of the inside. So since there's more than one term here, there's a whole bunch, right? So uh, it's really a good idea to use parentheses. So the derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of e to the 3x, well, it's e to the 3x times the derivative of the inside, so 3, chain rule. Plus the derivative of tangent is secant squared, so this will be secant squared 4x times the derivative of the inside, chain rule again, so 4. And the derivative of 1999 is 0 because it's a constant. So the final answer, maybe we can just put the 3 here and write everything in the numerator. So it's 2x plus 3e to the 3x plus 4 secant squared of 4x all divided by x squared plus e to the 3x plus the tangent of 4x plus 1999. Okay, and that's the derivative of g. Let's do another one. Let's just keep going for a little while. I think I'm running out of room though, so let's see. Let's see how far we can make it. So example, how about h of x equals, let's see, let's do something really tough. Um, how about x cubed e to the 2x over sine of 5x. Okay, this is going to be pretty brutal. Uh, we won't simplify the, the answer. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. Let's just go ahead and, and use the quotient rule. So this one's going to be a little bit messy. So let's do it. So h prime of x. So we're using the quotient rule, and this is the first piece. Right, that's the first piece in the quotient rule. And the quotient rule, let me write it again over here. Recall the quotient rule says that you take the derivative of the first times the second uh, minus the first times the derivative of the second all over the second one squared. So here we have to take the derivative of this first. But that's a product rule, so let's do it. So it'll be the derivative of the first, 3x squared, times the second, plus the first, times the derivative of e to the 2x, which is just e to the 2x times 2. So that's the derivative of the first. The derivative of the first was a product rule in itself, times the second, so sine of 5x, right, minus the first, so x cubed e to the 2x, times the derivative of the second. So the derivative of sine is cosine, so you get cosine 5x, chain rule, times the derivative of 5. On the bottom, you just have sine 5x, and the whole thing is squared. And I don't want to simplify this, so you can simplify. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's much fun to simplify. Taking derivatives is the fun part. Uh, it's the simplification that, uh, that's, that's where the grunt work comes into play. All right, uh, let's take another derivative, f of x equals, oh, how about something like this? This is something that always causes confusion. So let's take the derivative of the secant of the natural log of x squared plus 3. This one looks, this is actually pretty tough. Um, so let's do it. So the derivative of secant is secant tangent, right? Um, so if you take the derivative of just the secant function, you get secant tangent. So here it's the secant of this stuff. So you, have, you actually have to write secant of that stuff, right? You don't touch the inside. Tangent of that stuff. And now you have to use the chain rule, right? To multiply by the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, so it's 1 over x squared plus 3 times, again, chain rule, the derivative of the inside again, 2x. And I won't bother simplifying you can simplify, just so we can do more examples. Um, to simplify, maybe just, uh, 
well, it's, it's actually simplified. Maybe just put this over here in the front. I mean, just to make it look prettier, but there's not much that you can do with this one. Again, just to go over that one more time, the derivative of secant is secant tangent. So we have secant tangent, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x, so it's 1 over this, times the derivative of the inside, again, which is 2x. Let's do maybe one more. I think we're running out of room. Uh, f of x equals, um, hmm, running out of ideas. Uh, how about, oh, no one likes these. Cosecant x cubed times uh, e to the 4x. All right, let's do it. So f prime of x, this is a product rule. This will be the first. This will be the second. The derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent. So this is negative cosecant x cubed cotangent x cubed times the derivative of the inside, so 3x squared. So this is the derivative of the first piece times the second plus the first times the derivative of e to the 4x. Well, as before, that's e to the 4x, and then you use the chain rule, and you multiply by 4. And again, you can simplify. Let's go over it one more time. So we're taking the derivative of the first. The derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent. So here it is, negative cosecant cotangent. And we didn't touch the inside. And then chain rule says we multiply by the derivative of x cubed, so there it is. So this is whole thing right here, this entire piece is the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of e to the 4x. Well, that's just e to the 4x times 4, right? Because 4 is the derivative of the inside. Uh, one more. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, there's room. Let's do another one. Let's just keep going. Uh, let's see. Yellow. There's yellow. All right. So f of x equals... Let's see, what else can we do? Um, oh, I know. Let's try something like this. Uh, x cubed plus 4x. And then here we'll have x squared minus x over x to the fourth plus sine x. And we won't simplify this, just, just for practice. So here we have to use the product rule. So this will be the first, this will be the second. But when we take the derivative of the second piece, we actually have to use the chain rule. So let's do it. So f prime of x. So the derivative of the first is 3x squared plus 4. Pretty easy, right? You just bring the 3 down, you get a 2. Derivative of 4x is 4 times the second. So x squared minus x all over x to the fourth plus sine x. So the derivative of the first times the second plus the first, so x cubed plus 4x times the derivative of the second. Let me use a different color for that. So now we're going to take the derivative of the second. To recap, derivative of the first, that looks okay, times the second plus the first times the derivative of this. So we have to use the quotient rule. So now this is the first piece. So that derivative will be 2x minus 1 times the second, so x to the fourth plus sine x minus the first, so x squared minus x times the derivative of the second, which will be 4x cubed plus cosine x. So 4x cubed, running out of room, plus cosine x. Boom, there it is. A uh, beautiful answer. Uh, not really. Uh, x to the fourth plus, plus sine x. x to the fourth plus sine x squared, right? You have to square the denominator. Let's check that. The derivative of the first is 2x minus 1. Yep. Times the second. Yep. Minus the first. Yep. Times the derivative of this. That should be 4x cubed. That's the derivative of that. And the derivative of sine is cosine. So it should be 4x cubed plus cosine. Yep. 4x cubed plus cosine. And on the bottom, you just have uh, that being squared. Maybe one more. Let's see if I have room. Oh, I do have room. Let's keep going. Another example. How about f of x equals, oh, let's have fun. Let's take the hyperbolic cosine of x squared times uh, the hyperbolic sine 
of, uh, let's see, hyperbolic sine of uh, uh, x. Let's, I guess keep it simple. So the derivative, in case you didn't know this, so the derivative of cosinch is just cinch. It's a cinch, right? It's easy. Because uh, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so that's harder because you have to worry about the negative. But with cosinch, it's just cinch. Uh, it's a cinch. It's a bad joke. I just made it up. And if you take the derivative of cinch, you get you get cosinch. So these are really easy to differentiate. Uh, great stuff. Here we have to use the product rule. So let's do it. So the derivative of cosinch is cinch. So it's cinch. That's the derivative of the first. X squared times derivative of the inside. So this is the derivative of the first, right? This is our first piece. This is our second piece. So the derivative of the first is this, right? The derivative of cosinch is cinch. And then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. That's the chain rule. Times the second plus the first. Running out of room. Should have planned this better. Times the derivative of cinch, which is cosinch. And that's good. You can simplify. You can simplify. All right, I think that's good. I hope this helps uh, someone out there.